The fourth ranked team in the country visits Bryan College Station to face number 21 Texas A&M. As we welcome you to the SEC on ESPN, about 30,000 fans expected today at Kyle Field. Trask hits Pitts. That pass a little behind him. You see the incredible hands of Kyle Pitts making the catch and moving the chains. Tackled at the 18-yard line. So third and goal. Trask. End zone shot. And Pitts got it. Touchdown. Two defenders right there. And Pitts able to rip it out of the air for the score some of those if we're going to beat a team like Florida we got to have big plays Kellen has to be more sharp he's facing pressure here and delivers a strike they've got a pretty good tight end as well Jalen Weidermeyer that's his 11th catch of the season and he moves the chains on it out of the pistol here on first down at the 39 yard line play fake for Mott and taking a shot here inside the 20 it's caught they get one of those big plays Caleb Chapman with single coverage pulls it in for 48 yards. They've been waiting for that all year from Mond, and he finally delivers. Look at the safeties here who are just going to run, which allows the post over the top. Look how hard these safeties collapse on the play action fake, which gives you one on one on the outside to Chapman. And a beautiful throw. We talked about the big Smith at running back. That's the two best pass catching options at this point on the same side of the field so I would imagine Mon's eyes start there. Mon zips a pass to the end zone for the touchdown. Chase Lane was wide open. What a response by Mon to the Aggies. The rebuilding and the foundation of this program is still in its infancy especially knowing the challenges that COVID presented this team this year. Trask and wide open out of the backfield is Davis inside the 35 yard line. He runs over a defender still going. We've seen two Florida running backs take out Texas A&M defensive backs. And hopefully for Aggie fans he won't be single cover. Here's the quarterback Trask backing up and throws for an open receiver caught. Kadarius Tony with a touchdown and then a late flag is thrown. Hey, 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 hey. Trask getting into it with an AM defender. Outside leverage defenders like he did right there. Kellen Mond, 7 of 8, over 100 yards and a touchdown. Facing pressure here, but gets rid of the pass. And wide open is Smith in Florida territory. Anaya Smith able to find an open seam in the secondary, and it's a 30-yard game. They go empty, flexing Anaya Smith out, top of your screen. Mond looking the other way, and has Chapman inside the 10, first down. Caleb Chapman had five catches all year coming into this game. He has four in the first half on six targets. On third and goal, Mond looks, Chapman got another one, touchdown. Caleb Chapman has become the favorite target today of Kellen Mond. I saw Pitts on the sideline there. Play fake here for Trask, setting up on a crossing route at shorter, getting the first down into AM territory. Down to the 41 yard line. Second down and goal. Here's right, finds a hole, and is into the end zone for the Florida touchdown. The first for the freshman, Naquan Wright. Quarterback. Haven't had a punt yet, haven't had a stop on third down yet. Another run play, and Spiller has got room across midfield. Out of bounds at the 43-yard line, a 17-yard run for Isaiah Spiller. Came in averaging eight yards a pop. I'm calling the defense. And here they come. It's picked up. Mons pass is caught. That was a great grab at the 30-yard line by Chase Lane to pick up the first down. And you would easily send it out there if you didn't throw an out timeout. And Seth Small knocks it through to end the first half, but kind of ugly clock management. Don't know again if that's on the players or the coaching staff there, but poor use of the timeouts. They do get three. 
21-17. Number four, Florida, leading at 21st ranked Texas. Fireworks here in the first 30 minutes. Caleb Chapman had 80 receiving yards on six catches and a touchdown. Wide open out of the backfield to Spiller. And Florida's defensive issues continue. All the way to the 43 for 18 yards. Let's check with Holly Rowe. Texas. You got your coordinator, Brian Johnson, who's from Baytown Lee. And you got Kyle Trask, who's from Manville. Homecoming for Trask, throwing a deep ball to double coverage, and it's intercepted. An easy pick for O'Neal, bringing it back inside the 35. They finally track him down at the 31. There is a penalty flag, though, in the backfield. Personal foul, hands to the face, defense, number oh. two. 15 yard penalty, automatic first down. Michael Clemens, and that's the second roughing a personal foul penalty that we've seen in this game. This very costly as it takes an interception away from O'Neal. Yeah, it's on the right side. You see right there. Sees it. I mean, spectacular at this point. First down after the penalty. A wide receiver screen to Grimes, who shakes a defender at the 40 into AM territory and pushed out of bounds at the 43 yard line. Boy, that's a play that should have gained about five yards. To prevail. That's a game changing penalty, perhaps. Trask on third down and four. Throws a deep ball. He's got Tony. It's caught. It's a touchdown. You said game-changing penalty, but Leon O'Neill couldn't hold his water. He got a penalty, too. Back up on their 13-yard line. Out of the pistol. Todd will hand it off to Spiller. Ton of room off the left edge. Out past the 25. So a game of 13 on the play. Tomorrow. Nine minutes to play here in the third. Tenth carry of the day for Spiller, and again a ton of running room as he runs over a defender. Man, we've seen that twice out of Isaiah Spiller. Gate of 23. How about this right side of the offensive line? I mean, we're talking about just an absolute gash. These guys on the right side between Carson Green, South Lake Carroll's own, by the way, and Jared Hawker have done a fantastic job of moving some of these Florida Gators off the spot. Dragons. South Lake Carroll, man. Come on, Dragons. Here he is again, getting the perimeter past the 40. Boy, he is not afraid. Look at him lower the shoulder and a big hitter in Sean Davis. Man, Isaiah Spiller taking names here. Tested here as the game goes along. Just going to keep pounding in here. This is Smith. And he's got a first down to the 24-yard line. At over 100 yards week one against Vandy. Play fake. First pass of the drive. Mon dumps it off. Wide open. Weiermeyer to the five. Comes up a yard short of the line to gain, but they're inside the Florida five-yard line. Challenge that big group up front. The Aggies. And they will pound it. First down. Touchdown. Isaiah Spiller. Dollars? Yep. 1904. <laughs> it's like five million. Trask pumps in trouble, and down he goes. They finally get to him. Bobby Brown was there. So was Tyree Johnson. Third down and five here for Kellen Mond. Two touchdowns on the day. Pressure coming. Blitz has picked up the pass. One-handed catch. Weidermeyer stabbed it. And that was a bullet from the quarterback in Weidermeyer with a beautiful grab. Well, let's take a better look at that from the AT&T Skycam. Someone check his gloves. Is there some Velcro on those gloves? My goodness. And Kagan Baldry in here. With Spiller on fourth and two. Spiller cuts it back. Has a first down and more. He's got a touchdown and the lead for AM. That would qualify a special. Forty rushing yards and two touchdowns for Isaiah Spiller.
Let's take a look at that touchdown from the AT&T 5G Skycam. I just love this little wrap concept. It's a little bend concept. See Spiller on fourth and short trying to run to the right side of the offensive line, and then he follows those reversers back around to the left to create some leverage there on the edges of the defense. That's a really nice design. Need a big play. Out of the backfield. Can he break a tackle? Yes. There goes Naquan Wright into a and territory. Oh, my goodness. Did he drill the defensive back, O'Neal, on that play. But, man, you could see. Wow. He absolutely crushed that thing. Oh, my goodness. Oh my goodness. <laughs> that would have been good. We, we, we say this a lot in exaggeration. That was good from at least 63. They're in the midway point here of the fourth quarter. Florida rushing five. And open comes Smith for a first down, and he lost the ball. It's picked up by Florida. Will they rule Smith down? Marco Wilson with a fumble recovery. There's also an injured Gator. Brian Johnson finding a matchup that they can take advantage of. Play fake, Trask looking, throws. Tony is wide open. Dribble out of bounds at the one yard line by Richardson. Looked like a pick play downfield that freed up Tony, and it is first and goal for Florida. Trask throws to Pierce, and Pierce breaks a tackle and scores. Touchdown, Florida. The Gators are back in front. From his 25-yard line, going to hand it off. Spiller breaks a tackle at the 30, but stumbles. Still got seven yards on against the top five ranked team. On to the air again. In traffic. Catch made by Chapman at the 49 for a first down. That was an excellent throw. Plenty of time here for AM, and plus that Florida defense got to be tired as often as it's been on the field here in the second half. Beautiful throw there for Kellen Mond. My goodness, pinpoint accuracy between several defenders. here for Mon moving to his right looking deep got a receiver it's caught Chapman touchdown Chapman shaken up on a ball that looked like it might get intercepted but Chapman ripped it away from the defender 51 yards. All right, this is really nicely done here. You're going to see Chapman, who goes over the top. But watch the safety really bite on this over route. See the safety? He'll stay down, which allows Chapman over the top and one-on-one. -on -one. Ball's a little late and underthrown, but Chapman does a great job going up and making the play. We talked about it at the beginning of the game. The biggest thing for Kellen Mond is he's got to hit those big plays down the field. If they're going to be successful and this offense is going to hit its stride, it's got to be down the field. He's got to connect on those. He's done so several times today, and another beautiful throw there to Chapman, who goes up and makes an excellent play. Sophomore from Friendswood, Texas. Trask on first down, wide open out of the backfield is Davis, a mistake defensively by AM. And Davis, in one play, takes the ball all the way to the 48-yard line this week, but switch places with Georgia. Gators trying to get to 3-0. They'll run it here on second and 10. Davis cuts back, but he's thrown down and fumbled the ball, and it's picked up by Leal. Buddy Johnson forced the fumble. Leal gives a and its first takeaway of the game. Texas A&M will have it in Florida territory. The kind of plays you have to make to beat a top five team, and A&M is doing that here in the second half. This is what Jimbo Fisher told us. He kept pointing out, we got to hit on the long pass plays. 
We've got to break tackles when we run the ball. We've got to create turnovers. We can't beat Florida if we don't do those things. They've done all of those things here in the fourth. They have. They made the play, too. I mean, it's a great job by Buddy Johnson. Man, you got to feel for Malik Davis. He's had such a nice game today. Trust. Here's a pitch to Spiller out in space. Hurdles a defender. A helmet goes flying. Close to a first down is the running back, Spiller. We'll see if they give it to him here to try to milk some clock. Yep, straight ahead inside the 35. Down to the 33. Approaching a minute to go. Third down and eight. Mon will throw, and it's caught over the middle for a first down and more inside the 20. Chase Lane gets the first down and more. And the Aggies in business here late at home against number four. Third down and kick it on fourth. We'll give it to Spiller. And he cuts it back inside the 15 and brought down inside the 10. So the clock will stop here to get rid of the chains on first and goal. This is also a spot, too. If you're Kellen Mond, talk to your guys. You don't. Size has been questioned. And he delivered one of the best performances of his career. I mean, bar none. So clutch, so efficient, so in control yep. to give his team a chance. Congratulations to that young man for giving them a chance. And now just a short field goal away from a massive win for Jimbo Fisher in this Aggie program. That's why the Gatorade's out. First things first, 26-yard try for Seth Small to win the game for Texas A&M. Nervous Aggie fans can take a breath. Jimbo Fisher has done it. Beat a top five team. And hands Florida its first loss of the season. First top five home win in 18 years for Texas A&M as a program. Because you got to learn to win these. You got to learn to not play the scoreboard and play every play. Relentless competitors win your space. The scoreboard takes care of itself. And I can't say enough. People doubt them, and we ain't done. We deserve some of it. But we can. We had a very good football team and a heck of a program. You speak about doubt. There was a moment where things were unraveling for your group with penalties and dumb mistakes. How did they get it back together and finish so well? Did a good job. Weren't unraveling. Just having impatience. You can't be impatient. You got to play this game, though. You can't cheat the game. The game makes you play it, and we played it today. Kellen Mond has taken his fair share of criticism. How do you describe that young man's that's performance? Fair. And I'm gonna tell you, he's had some mistakes. Every quarterback does. Let me tell you something. He's the reason we're winning football games. And there's a lot of these guys. It's been awesome, man. It's been awesome. Coach, your defense had to get some crucial stops against a very high-powered offense. How important was that for your defense? Critical. Listen, we've been, they gave a lot of plays up, but they got that turnover when they had to. Coach said that's your game, baby. How hard was it to earn this moment a top five win for you today, Kellen? I've never seen you play better. Uh, it was big time. Uh, but, you know, we, we had our ups and downs this game, and but I just told everyone to keep their composure and uh, continue to fight, and the defense was, you know, able to come up with a big time stop uh, to give us the ball back. So. Um, I mean, it's a full team win playing full four quarters. You were so accurate. 
accurate today. You made big throws, none bigger than to Chapman there in that fourth quarter. How are you so accurate today? It just goes back to practice and the way I train. And, um, you know, I'm very hard on myself in the way that I, I prepare myself. And, um, you know, my guys push me, my coaches push me, and um, we're able to come out and have a big win. Tell them how great was this win. Listen to the crowd and enjoy it as you walk off. Thank you. Thank you. And let's take a look at today's more driven moment brought to you by Goodyear. The takeaway by the Aggie defense, Buddy Johnson forcing the fumble. Malik Davis coughing it up here. Big hit by Johnson, the senior from Dallas. And then the short field goal after AM moved it down the field. And the Gatorade bath for Jimbo's first win against a top five team here at AM. What a performance by Kellen Mond, a guy making his 37th start, plays one of the best games of his career. College football scoreboard is coming up next, then it's Arkansas and Auburn. For Holly Rowe, Greg McElroy, our entire crew, I'm Dave Pash. So long from Texas A&M with the Aggies, takedown number four.